Hi, welcome. Welcome to Greece. Welcome to Corfu. Corfu is located in Europe between Albania, Italy and Greece. In this third vlog we explore further north Corfu. In our previous vlogs we extensively discussed the beautiful old town of Corfu that ended up on the list of UNESCO World Heritage with all the impressive buildings. We headed northwest to the beautiful Bay of Palucastrizza and the ruins of Angelo Castro. Today we visit Peritia, a ghost town where time has stood still. The Canal d'Amour, a canal with romantic legends. And the 100 meter high cape Drastis. The route along the coast to the north has beautiful landscapes and beaches. We pass Guvia, a lively town with its old Venetian and new marina. We are Leslie and Bart. In this series of videos we would like to let you enjoy our adventures. Welcome to Bart's Travel. Start with Cassiope, a gem in the north of Corfu. Cassiope was already a significant port in Roman times. Here, ships on their way from Greece to Italy waited for better weather for the crossing. Albania is also a stone's throw away. Famous Romans spent some time in Cassiope. Famous Romans such as Emperor Nero, Cicero, Caesar and Tiberius. You can do beautiful hiking trails in the area. They start at the Venetian castle that was built on the remains of older walls. You better overcome your fear of snakes before entering the fortress. The interior has been claimed by nature. The 13 towers of the castle have been well preserved. At the harbour in the bay there are many good restaurants. There is also a beautiful pebble beach, namely the only 80 meters wide Bateria beach. Between the beautiful town of Palliacastrizza and Cassiope stands the highest mountain of Corfu, namely the Pantocrator. The Pantocrator is just under a kilometer high. There is a small monastery on the top of the mountain. The village of Barbati is beautifully situated by the sea on the southern flank of the mountain. The mountain village of Peritia is nearby. It has become a ghost town. The last inhabitants left the place before the Second World War. In the empty old church you can see the remains of frescoes. Especially worth seeing is a beautiful image of the Twelve Apostles. This village is difficult to reach by car. The seaside resort of Sidari is located in the far north of Corfu. 
It is a typical holiday destination with a long shopping street with many pubs, discos and restaurants. You can go out in Sidari until the early hours. Many tourists stay in Sidari because it is close to the Canal d'Amour, an inlet in the sea created by the erosion of the limestone rocks by the seawater. Canal d'Amour on the Greek island of Corfu is not only a beautiful nature spot, but it can actually help you find true love. Because they say that everyone who swims in it is or will always be happy in love. They also claim about this piece of sea, that every couple that swims together in the canal will always stay together. There is also another version of the story, and it is claimed that every bachelor who swims through it will quickly meet a man or woman of his or her dreams. Pirolades is located in the northwest of Corfu. When you drive into the village, you do not get the impression that a little further on you can see perhaps the most beautiful view of Corfu. There are not many tourists in the village. In the center you can choose a road to Cape Drastis and it is certainly worth a visit. The coastline of Cape Drastis is a beautiful nature reserve. The formation of these shawl cliffs has taken place over the centuries mainly by wind and erosion. Guvia is located 8 kilometers from the capital Kirkira. Just before Guvia is the island of Vido. In the center of Guvia are souvenir shops and restaurants. Guvia has the largest marina of Corfu and it is full of sailing boats all year round. In Guvia there is still the old Venetian shipyard. In our next and fourth vlog about Corfu, we go to the island of Paxos and the mainland of Greece. Curious about more? Then follow us on YouTube simply by clicking on subscribe at the bottom of this video for free. Thanks for watching.